Hey everybody, T-Man again, bringing you guys another video, and this video will be is titled the WWE versus the Internet Wrestling Community. The wrestling Internet Community, guys. The Wrestling Internet Community is what a lot of people in oh, that's already in the business and the WWE likes to call the fans. All the fans that boo, all the fans that make videos on YouTube, all the fans that really generally care. I mean, some of them are just hate, uh, well, like hating, and some of them really do just troll. Uh, but but everybody that, that doesn't agree with what the company does is the wrestling internet community. Or, you know, so, so someone that's with, uh, um, that used to be a company and not, and they get trolled or whatever. Uh, um, the wrestling internet community. No, no, no. We're fans that care about wrestling. Now, okay, I'm never going to come on here and just bash WWE for no good reason. I'll never do that because WWE, believe it or not, does mean a lot to my heart, guys. It really does. I've been watching WWE since the age of four. Okay, I'm 30 years old now. I've been watching it since the age of four, and then at the age of four, I uh, uh, my parents used to rent me videos from the early 80s and late 70s. So I grew up with all that, with Bob Backlund. I seen Bruno San Pertino. I seen Iron Sheik as the champion. I went through the whole Federation days. That's when I started. I started with the Hulk Hogan era when I was four years old. I went through all that, guys. And I grew up. I went to the new, uh, the, um, the new generation. I've been through the WCW days, during the Monday Night Wars. I backed WCW during the Monday Night Wars. I'll admit, I backed the losing shit. But I backed more when it was good and during 96 all the way through 99. And, you know, I went through the Attitude Era. I went through the John Cena days. I went through the Ruthless Aggression. I went through all that eras, guys. And I think I have the right to complain. I, I, I mean, so, and I'm sure a lot of you guys who's labeled the wrestling internet community, I bet you guys went through all those days with me. I bet you a lot of you guys went through some of that with me. With those days, so we're complaining as much as we're complaining because we see how garbage it is. We see how manufactured the the, the, the promos are. They sound like uh, other than maybe four or five guys like Bray Wyatt, Dean Ambrose, and a few other modern day guys. Everyone else, like Roman Reigns and stuff like that, sounds like a damn robot when they speak. They need to give them bullet points and let them talk. But all of us and me. I'm just a hater troll wrestling internet community. No, I give you guys advice. I'm not just going to come here and slam you guys. I, I That's what this channel is. I give advice. I tell you guys what I would do. And I believe a lot of the scenarios, a lot of things I book is a lot better than the WWE books. But I find it very, very funny that we're called the internet wrestling community it pisses me off we're just labeled that oh you know a lot like anytime you see triple h and vince mcgann oh yeah those are just people on the internet they're just the internet wrestling community no no we're fans and you know what what people need to realize you know what the wwe needs to realize we're the ones that are watching we're the ones we're the only people that are watching the ratings each week continue to drop for Monday Night Raw. And WWE say this says they don't care about the ratings anymore. That's not what they're into anymore. It's not about the ratings anymore with the DVRs and this and this and that, with the networks and the subscriptions, everything going on. We're not focusing on the ratings. That's a BS. Of course you are. Of course you're still worried about the ratings. Because if Raw ratings are not doing good, your network subscriptions are not doing good. Because that's what people are subscribing off of. Everyone that's already subscribed right now are diehard fans. You're not going to get anyone else to subscribe unless you build the current product of Raw. Everyone that's already subscribed are all the subscribers you're going to get. Any new ones are going to have to be from new fans or it has to be from old ones who just re-buy the network or re-subscribe to the network only during the big pay-per-views like WrestleMania or SummerSlam. We're the ones that are keeping this business going. We're the ones that continue to torture ourselves. Even though it sucks, week in and week out, we continue to watch Raw because it meant something to our childhood. It meant something to us growing up. You know, we have this a fascination with wrestling because we know what it could be and it pains us. It's like watching your girlfriend cheat on you. It hurts.
But you can't look away sometimes, but it hurts and it makes you mad and you just want to punch your you know, fist through the wall because, you know, you know, but it just pains you to see this product and that's what the WWE is sometimes. They continue to make bad choices and bad mistakes and it pains me. Here we are, they're going to Dallas, Texas Stadium for WrestleMania. Hoping to get 100,000 people, and I understand they have a lot of injuries. I understand all that. Uh, but they wouldn't have had that problem if they would have pushed the wrestlers they were supposed to push a long time ago. But no, no, no. You didn't, uh, uh, then now you're cramming to try to create stars when, when you should have been thinking about that four or five years ago. You know, they get hot on someone, and then they do the 50-50 booking, and I've talked about it so many times in my video. The 50-50 booking. I hate that. You win one week, you lose the next week. Nobody sells anymore. Nobody sells. Everything's all high spots. So, the, so now, I mean, the WWE is doomed, okay? You got bad booking, right? You got bad booking. You got the 50-50 booking, you got scripted promos, and then on top of all that, the in-ring work is the stunt devils doing moves and moves like, oh, oh, all the fans are going, oh, 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 yeah, and it might be exciting to see, but slowly by slowly, they're killing the business. We have to, instead of putting on a sh stunt show, it needs to be telling stories in the ring. And they're not even doing that. It's just stunt shows. Nobody's selling the moves. Like someone could do a big splash off the rope. Two seconds later to back up. Someone could drop you with a DDT. That used to be the most devastating finisher in the business. And now sometimes they don't even make a cover after the DDT. And they'll be up 30 seconds later. It's killing the business. Everything. Slowly. With the scripted promos. With the bad booking. With the 50-50 booking. It's bad. Okay, and for people to say the internet wrestling community are, are the ones, no, we're the ones that care, or at least I do. I could speak only for myself. I care. I'm the one that's continuing to watch me, and it's breaking my heart watching something that I've watched my whole life and know what it could be. You know, and I'm not just slamming it. I'm not just slamming. It. I give pointers, hoping that some somebody from WWE would see my video and see the ideas. I and, and to see some of the ideas that I have. I know what it could be again. You know, and WWE can give whatever excuse for corporate whatever. The only people are watching are little kids who who see larger than life comic book heroes coming to life. And maybe some parents that watch with the kids and say, oh, okay, I'm getting into it a little bit. Uh, but the majority of that are, are fans that's been watching from the day. Okay, they're not getting any new new, new uh, viewers. They're not. You know, you, you might have some of the girls that might think some of the wrestlers are hot and, you know, whatever, nothing else. Watch them, they'll watch it casually or whatever. You know, but they're not getting new, new, uh, a flocks of new fans like they did in the Attitude Era. You know, or back in the day, you know, they're not getting that. They're just getting diehard wrestling fans. So I find it funny how, you know, they're slamming us and we'll always watch no matter what. That's the reason why. Like, you'll have little kids that watch, but once one, once when they go into high school, once when they get a little bit smarter, a lot of those kids drop off. They'll watch as a kid and then, then, then they'll drop off. We're not hooking as many fans as we used to. We're not hooking fans as a kid like when I was a kid and like a lot of you were, were when you were a kid. Hooking you in with a kid and carrying it all the way through life. There's not that much of that anymore. You know? It's just people, you know, hoping. And I, I find it really funny that the WWE and, and, and even people not in the WWE, they just, you know, call all, all, all the fans and do videos and the fans that really generally care about the company. Oh, oh yeah, there's just hatred. There's just the internet wrestling community trolls or whatever. And some people are trolls out there. Some people will abuse them and, and just trash them and not give any advice. I give advice. I, I give scenarios. And you guys let me know. I mean, if those of you who've been watching my channel and the fantasy bookings and the stuff that I do on here and, and the scenarios I would go with, I break in the raw, I break down the pay-per-views, I, I, I say what I think the WWE will do, and then I say the direction I would go in. 
And I'm not just cocky, but I think the direction I would go in would be much better. You know, like the whole Dean Ambrose thing. I mean, the whole, I mean, if you guys haven't seen my Fastlane review, check that out. And I talk about that. I talk about that in my, my Fastlane thing, uh, review and in my WrestleMania uh, um, fantasy booking. I mean, I gave a, for, for, from as of two weeks ago, I made the video about two weeks ago. I said how, how I would save WrestleMania. I'm not getting into that again. But I said how, how, how you could make a WrestleMania 32 great in my fantasy book and how I would book it from top to bottom. Considering the whole year sucked and considering where they're at right now, I think I freaking saved the card and I'm tuning my own horn. That's a card. Is someone like me who thinks today's product sucked thinks that that would be a great card. And that could build new fans, that would build the new wrestlers in a good light and push them the way they need to be pushed. Using the stars where they need to be used and promoting and, and you know pushing the stars that need to be pushed for, for uh, to create new fans of tomorrow. Now, I got a phone call right now. I hear my uh, uh, my phone going. Uh, bring that here, son. Who's calling me? Let's see. Mommy is calling me right now. Guys, this is my my wife calling right now here while I'm making a YouTube video. I will call you back, sweetheart. Okay? Okay. I will. Bye. Bye. There you go. My my wife, she's not a myth. She's real calling me here. Uh, she's at work right now. Putting food on, on the table for the team, man. But anyways, that'll conclude this video. Let me know, guys. I really want to know what you guys think. Uh, there was a lot more I had to say. The phone call kind of took me out of it. Um, but leave your comments down below. Please subscribe to the video. Let's build this channel together for, for, for you guys can get all my fantasy booking and everything. And one more video I'm probably going to be booking today will be my issues with the WWE Network. Until the next video, see you next time, guys. Bye!